Welcome back to another Dark Knight Racing video. Today, we're going to attempt to put on the block off plates for the pair valve or the smog pump, whatever you want to call it. These right here. Now, this side, I'm going to show you guys on this side. The other side is going to be the exact same way. But on the other side, you have a lot more stuff in the way. You have the throttle cables in the way right here, which should be able to move. My coolant lines in a way, which I think should be rotted underneath. But this is going to be like the gist of it. Like I said, it's right there. There's two bolts. There are M5 Allen heads on both sides. And then we have to disconnect the electrical on it, which is on the other side. And then this is the vacuum line that goes into your air box. That just slides right out. So, I'm going to attempt to get these off real quick. So, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm going to probably go ahead and pull this coolant line right here. There, I guess this is for my uh, reservoir overflow tank. I'm going to pull that off, and then I'm going to get these off. All right, so I went to pull this line off, and it went ahead and pulled the hose off on the other side. So, I just popped it off that way. There's electronics right there. Now, you may, depending on your setup, you may need to do the, uh, the Paramod Eliminator. There's a uh, Snitch Racing sells the Eliminator for 20 bucks. I'm getting my ECU reflash, so I won't need it. I'm going to need both hands for this, so I'll be right back. I need both hands so I can pull the electrical off. But there it is. There's the uh, plug right there. That, just cap it off. We won't need that again. Now we're pulling off these block offs. Uh, like I said, uh, Snitch Racing sells Eliminator. Uh, if you get your EC, ECU flash through Snitch Racing or um, Goal Racing, uh, more Mafia, uh, generally they go ahead and delete the uh, pair mod or pair valve. You just tell them that you blocked it off. There are several ways you can do this. You don't have to do it this way. You can just pull the hose off, put a red cap on it, or you can plug this right here, this hole, and then you plug this hole right here, because this is to your air box. Um, or I've done it to where I just ran a hose straight across from here to here. You can do it that way. I just got the block off plates because I only paid like 25 bucks for them. So why not just go ahead and do it? Um, there's no performance gains by doing this. I'm doing this to stop the diesel pop. I hate it. I don't like it at all. And then plus to remove a little bit of weight. So they don't weigh much, but any, anything's better than nothing. I'll get a weight of this and the battery together. And then I, like I said, I know how much the battery weighs. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the plates real quick. Now that you got the top part off, the cap, this is what you replace it with. Um, uh, Brock sells them, Snitch sells them, uh, eBay sells them, all kinds of different places sell them. Don't spend a whole lot of money on them. Like I said, I only paid twenty five dollars for them. eBay sells them for twenty five dollars. Don't you don't have to spend fifty, a hundred dollars on the block offs. Uh, hell, you can make your own if you, you got the machines to do it. Only thing you're removing is the top part. You're not removing the reeds. I know there, I've seen questions on that, on forums and all that, but you leave this in here. Don't pull the reeds out. Just leave them in there. This is all going to seal up once I put the cap back on right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on real quick. All right, I got this side on already. Wasn't that bad, honestly. I thought I was going to have to drop the radiator because that's what I've seen everywhere is drop the radiator and then um, you have access to this one. Only thing I did was I just, of course, the um, uh, overflow tank, I had the hose off already. And then I, um, oh, maybe that's not it, it's right there, sorry. Um, and then um, there's a, a electrical connector right here. I just disconnected it. Just when you do it, just make sure you plug it back in. You can, There's all kinds of different ways you can do this. Um, if you want, if you don't want to try to, you know, finagle your way in there, you can take off your motor mount bracket right here, unbolt your motor mount right there, pull this bracket off, this whole side piece comes off, 
and then you can pull this bracket off and you can get your hand in there really easy it's just more steps than what needs to be you have a lot of access there what makes it easy for me is that i have this this little tool um this is a bosch kit that i got from walmart a while back it was probably three four years ago i bought it when i had the uh 600 and i did a 750 swap but this is all it is it's not bosch whatever the hell that is bosch pratique whatever got it from walmart i'm gonna get me another one because i'm missing a lot of bits out of it but this thing has saved my ass on so many projects very good kit i would recommend it for anybody it has phillips heads flat heads uh, allen heads the keyed allen head or keyed phillips head uh, star bits like it has everything in it that you need and even the uh, canadian bits which i think i left it in my camper there here they are the square bits it has those in there which helps me for my camper but like i said i didn't have to remove the radiator i didn't have to remove nothing but one plug now one this is the last step to this like i said i had to block i have to block the hole for the air box and that's right there i got a cap with mine but i don't think it's gonna work so i'm gonna have to come up with something else yeah it's not gonna work what i'll probably do is and i think what this was meant for is i'm gonna cut the hose right there put the cap on it and then i'm gonna slide that back up in there now since there some of you guys may be asking well what what is the actual point in this if there's no horsepower gains out of it well look at how much room you have now in there spark plug change is going to be way the freaking easier because look you got this one here this one here this one here go on the other side the other side's right there so spark plug change is going to be really easy um chris moore said it takes three hours to do and honestly i wouldn't doubt it to, if you were only pulling off just like one side i'd stripped all my fairings off because i am well because of the uh, valve cover that's gonna be my biggest thing uh, my next video will probably be doing the valve cover gasket and the spark plugs. Like I said, I'll break those up in two separate videos. But the valve cover, I'll show you guys what I'm doing to get it from stop leaking. Because Kawasaki has an issue because my ZX-10R had the same thing. I uh, can't see it, but the valve cover leaks up here up front. We'll get that fixed. That way we don't have any issue. He wasn't lying. He did put a brand new radiator in it. I thought he pulled the motor out for whatever reason, but it wasn't. He just put a new radiator in it. Um, uh, like I said, valve cover gasket, spark plugs, and then, as you guys may have heard me mention, I am getting an exhaust. Um, I finally decided a couple days ago that I'm going to buy the two most expensive things right now, or I guess this next month, in December, because Black Friday sales and all that. I'll get a big discount on it and everything else I can slowly get uh, because that's, they're not as expensive. I am going to go with a Voodoo Sidewinder. Now, I don't know which one because you have the uh, one that has a head baffles. I don't think I'm going to get that one. You have the Slash Cut, which is the one that I want, or the Competition. Uh, competition don't have the flare out it's just the same diameter all the way back the only thing i don't like about the competition is that it comes clear back here the slash cut stops about right here and i like the way it looks uh for ground clearance i think the competition has the most ground clearance i'm not trying to drag the exhaust and then um so we'll see uh, right now I'm, I'm up in the air i'm watching prices if I can get everything for the price that I think I'm going to get it for, then for surely, probably here in a few weeks, I'll be ordering it. Swing arm will be ordered here probably in a few weeks, three weeks. And uh, like I said, if I have a chance to buy the uh, other swing arm from uh, a buddy of mine, I'll buy that one because I'll have it right now. And it's exactly the same length, everything that I want. Um uh, I'll buy his. If not, I'll buy brand new. I'm trying to catch Evil Swing Arms Black Friday sale. Last year, they let me do it two weeks after their Black Friday sale, which I got lucky on. 
um, and see if they'll let me do that again this year. Hopefully they do, because that'll save me about 100 bucks on a swing arm. And uh, the oil pan will get done, but it won't get done, like I said, in December. That, that'll that actually probably happen in January, February. And then, what else? There was something else I needed to do. I don't remember. But um, everything will be slow going on it. Like, the exhaust and the swing arm are two big things that I need right now. Oh, ECU flash. The the um, flat oil pan and the ECU flash will come probably, like I said, January, February time frame. It'll probably do one one month, one the other month. Um, just that way yeah, I space out uh, pricing and everything like that. Uh, we got the holidays coming up. Uh, work is not slowing down like they said it was. So uh, we'll just we'll just keep going as we can. Um said it really opened up that front right there I, I like the way it looks so this will be it on this video thanks for watching like subscribe share and as always have a good day